Hello friends, welcome to BSP Solutions. My name is Basan and today I am going to show you how to load data in Oracle FCCS through DM. So let's start. So this is the application and before we move on to DM, I will show you my file and what we are going to do. Okay, so this column is for accounts, this is for amount and this is for entity and these are this column is for product. Okay, we have different products as well and as you can see but in our account column we don't have the systematic accounts they vary and for this first account the target account is this and as you can see for these three accounts the target target account are these okay so uh, in this in this file i am going to use the multi mapping to load the data and as you can see for the target account we have the amounts as well and for and entities as well okay Okay, so this is the file we are going to upload in our DM and uh, we'll choose this file. Okay, so this is our application. We just go to DM through Navigator and it is opening. Okay, so the first thing is to go to setup and figure out our source system so my source system is file i click select and click save and then we go to target application my target application is uh, with, uh, with console consolidation and i will save that and as you can see we have all the dimensions here okay then we will create an import format so I will click add and I will name it as IMF uh, data load okay DM I will and uh, our sources sources file so we will select that click OK and file type is uh, delimited numeric data okay and target is correct so we will quickly save this and after saving we have to select this yeah this was our import format and we have to define our source columns okay in this mapping so my field number for account is 1 and amount is um, at 2 and for data source we will just select any of the columns like I will choose 3 and for entity entity is at 3 and from currency one second it is uh, I will choose 3 and for intercom intercompany I will give 3 And for product, product is at fourth fourth column. Okay, so I will give that, and we have we will have to save this. Okay, so it is saved, and then we have to define our location and create a location. So we will click add, and I will name it as loc data load. Tm. Okay, so import format will be data load dm just we have which we have created just and select that and click save okay so then we have to move towards the workflow and uh, do our data load mapping okay so before we jump to the mapping we have to choose a location which is given at the bottom click reset and search so this was the mapping loc data load dm I will select it and period I will show I am choosing for this is Jan 15 so I will click OK after choosing and yeah you can see for account dimension I am going to do the multi mapping as you can see in the first column we have accounts and for the first account I am going to do the explicit explicit mapping and 
and for these I'm going to choose the in mapping and for these two I will do the like mapping and use the question marks okay so the explicit mapping I'm going to use for the first one okay so go to ex explicit and uh, click add I will quickly just copy the account paste it and give the target application as 101 triple zero one zero one and um, click save and then we go to in mapping for these we are going to choose the in mapping so click add again and we have to give this in double quotes double inverted commas okay so you can also do this in between mapping but i am choosing the in mapping for now okay so let's quickly write that and my target account is triple one zero two okay so i will quickly save this okay we have to give one rule name so i will give it as two you can give any rule name and for the last uh, last two accounts we are going to do the like mapping okay so i will go to the like and click add okay so for this we just have to give four question marks before because after the account number we have underscore xyz and it comes to four characters okay so for the four characters we are going to give it as question marks and target is star and rule name i will give three okay click save and we are all, all done for the account and go to the next dimension that is data i will give like mapping for all other dimensions so rule name will be four click save go to data source data source is a system generated as you can see and entity we will give like mapping click save and from currency click add for from currency I will give a entity currency intercompany I will choose no intercompany okay click save and moment is also system, system generated but uh, in my uh, file I have the cash accounts okay so the cash account we have the moment is moment cash moments cash cash and uh, I will change it to cash and click save We have to give proper name of the target value or else we don't uh, get the data correctly so multi gave was also system generated and our product I will do the like mapping okay so yeah these all are done so I will quickly make a data load rule and for this I will click add Okay, I will name it as DLR underscore data load DM and I will have to choose the import format that is data load DM. Okay, and we have to choose our file, the comma delimited file, and I already uploaded that that is DM stripping.csv. I will select that and click save okay so we just have to execute and for now for uh, for importing dm i will choose import and as well as for the uh, at the same time i will export it to the application also okay so then we will click run you have to see for the periods and our process has been started let's see that we got the golden fishes or not okay our job is done yeah so when port is done and validation is also done 
and our export is also done to the application as you can see for the account dimensions we have used the multiple mappings and we got the desired result as well okay so let's quickly jump to the smart view i've already created the proper structure of the smart view and we just have to give the povs okay the scenario was actual and view was periodic currency was entity currency movement yeah movement was changes in cash and data source was managed data as you also seen in the mapping consolidation was entity cons entity input okay intercompany was no intercompany and multi gap was local gap So I will quickly refresh it. Yes. So as you can see, we got our data and I will show you the accounts as well by changing the alias. Okay. As you can see, we have the same accounts which we have loaded in DM through DM and uh, yes, here it is. Okay. And we got the total subtotal amount of the accounts okay so that was it for this video and thank you for watching and please uh, do let us if you have any query and you can visit our website that is bspsolution.com and thank you for watching